uh, what the Greco Roman people did is they, they have uh, created these, um, uh, I want to call them uh, uh, anthropomorphic type creatures because both of them was a combination of both of them together. So they're talking about their their mentality, and of course they're talking about how Greek Greek culture has uh, had a great inspiration and contribute to Roman uh, type of way of life. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, so yeah, so the Greeks were the big brothers of the Romans. Right, 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 right. So yeah, so yeah, so the lion heads will be considered the Greeks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where you you have, of course, the Romans, and you have this. So yeah, so you're looking at it from a perspective of a scorpion tail, which uh, of course that was in some of their areas of artwork as far as uh, the Roman period. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised at that, although I have not seen this particular one, Yeah, uh, but I've seen something similar to that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what it made me think of, I, for me, was the, uh, uh, the griffin, was what I thought of when I saw it. Yeah, griffins are, okay, so griffins are, are again, anthropologists, Right. Most of the creatures, right? Right. But again, you have all different types of groups. So it mm. all depends on on what the what the period is, the time is. You're all talking about, right? You're talking about certain different ones. So in this particular uh, drawing, uh, it, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Although you don't see any wings or anything, right? Yeah. You see the anthropomorphic type of griffin type figure with uh, with it. Yeah. So yeah, it's. Um, there, there are ones who uh, were inspired by others. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, right it, to do this, it, it, it's a fearsome looking creature, man. I'm gonna have to read up on it so we can power scale it. Sure. Yeah, we have to have to get up on this, man. So we definitely want to get up on that one. 